Hello there, everybody. This is Conquest, and we are back. Hopefully this is working. I think the problem that I figured out with my recording software is more just that I have a CPU that's from 2010. Everything except the graphics card in my computer, which is a GTX 970, uh, which I got recently, is coming up on five years old, so I probably need to get new stuff anyway. But that's, that's neither here nor now. So, long story short, I put some speed upgrades and stuff into the, the ore stuff up there. And I've done, also done some remodeling. I forgot that I hadn't shown this off yet. Most of the old wooden platform is still there. It's just under everything else. I mean, there are parts like this part, this bridge part kind of right here. And this center area doesn't have wood under it. But So what mainly what I did was I just made the path and then I kind there was a part of wooden the wooden thing over here so I just kind of chopped a line through it and then set the, that part on fire so as I was saying I put uh, some speed up and fortune upgrades on the sieves up there which I have turned off for a reason that I will share in a moment uh, which I, I did by disconnecting the gravel one from everything else and because I have retrievers on these I also disconnected the barrels, which I have put void upgrades on all these, so if when they do fill up completely, they will just delete any extra items. So, I redid my ore setup, or my ore processing setup. It's still exactly the same up to when it's exported from the smeltery. It's exactly the same until then. But now, there are no casting basins over there. I, I don't even know what I'm going to do with that square of the larger square. What it does is I finally learned what these do, these casting frames. Basically, if you put that, one of them, and some molten liquid into a, or molten metal or similar substance into a fluid transposer, it will turn that it with some RF into a block of the item. And it does that for five of the nine metals, which I didn't realize was the case until I'd already... Like of, the, of the base ones, which I didn't realize until I'd already set everything up, and all these are resonant and fully speed upgraded. So it takes like a second for it to complete a one process. So I have everything turned off. So because I'm assuming that's a bug and not intended to be that way, because if so, it makes the entire thermal smelting mod completely worthless. Because, I mean, even if I do keep the, like, the ones for the five that work, the ones that don't work, I believe, are lead, shiny, silver, and nickel. Which I don't, I don't even understand why there wouldn't be recipes for the other thermal expansion metals to begin with. I mean, there's copper and tin, I think are the main two that are in thermal expansion and actually have a, a recipe. And to keep all of these stocked with the casting frames, I used one of these, a Steve's Workshop production table. And put two crafting benches in there, because you can put uh, anywhere between one and four crafting benches and or furnaces, up to four of uh, as a total of both of those. So you can have four crafting benches, four furnaces, or just a, a combination of those, like two and two, or one and three. Or the other ways around, and that's actually every combination. I mean, and then the ones where it's just like the two. So, I have the recipes in there for the stone tool rods, which is, you need eight of those in a circle to make a casting frame. So, it's, and I have a, an igneous extruder that automatically makes a bunch of stone and puts it up, up there with, up here. So I, I, there's probably a way to do this, but I couldn't get it to move this to here. So what I did was I made both of them export to this chest. So the stone tool rods and the casting frames end up here. But I also made this one pull the stone tool rods from that chest as well. So it, they both put them there, but this, but the one actually also imports from there and then exports the casting frame. But once you get to having no open ones that aren't casting frames it can't do any more operations because it can't put the, the stone tool rods in there like if I watch if I do that 
See, that's going. No, see, this is going. And I have full speed upgrades for both doing the thing and moving it over to the chest. And you'll see that that stopped because there is no longer any room to put stuff in. So it'll, I mean, it'll do that until it gets to this. If, it, if you have it all organized, until it gets to the slot. And there's a Nocturne's accumulator down there. That's getting the water for this because I mean, if this does, if this stops making stone, it's kind of useless. And it also has lava going in there. And this is pow this needs power to do its things. It is powered by lava because I put a lava generator upgrade in there, which is just a bunch of netherrack, a blank upgrade, and a furnace. The blank upgrade being just two stone and two planks. And the other, I mean, the other upgrades are pretty cheap too, like this production speed when you can have up to eight. Yeah. And it's for either crafting tables or furnaces. And it's just this stuff to make one. There's a solar generator that makes it go by solar power, but I already had lava down there from all of the dynamos. And it seemed a better solution. So. I think that covers that. Oh, yeah, and I also made a garden area. I haven't actually put any of the machines. My Probably my end thing I'm going to have is a planter under each one of these and then either one harvester with a bunch of, like, with a really big upgrade to do all of them or, like, one per. I haven't decided which will look better yet. But, there, I mean, the reason I wouldn't do the one is because it would take longer to go through every field. Okay, now onto what I actually wanted to do today, which is make a big reactor. Because if I have those fluid transposers going, along with all of the, like the full upgrades to these, to all this stuff up there, which I still need to put facades on, then it's going to need more power than these dynamos can provide. And I, I did go to the nether. There's a, I put the portal behind. There's a little wooden room, kind of, you can kind of see behind the mob tower that I put the nether portal in. I kind of just went to A, do that quest where you go to the nether, and B, because I needed to get blaze rods. And I knew where a fortress was because I had a waypoint from, an, from I believe, my Morby Cottage world, and it's kind of the same nether for all of these that I found, that I've gone to, which is basically just this world, the platform, and the Morby Cottage. So I did went to that waypoint, got some blaze rods, and made one of these, a lava fabricator. And then for testing purposes, I, because what it does is it takes power, and then it makes a little tiny bit of lava, like 20, I think, per operation. I don't remember how much it takes per operation, but it's close to that, I think. I, I spawned in one of these, slapped it against it so it would power, and then put a bucket of lava in just to see if it would work renewably, just for a one for one. For one. And it was close, but slowly over time, the amount of lava was produced was less than it needed to keep going indefinitely. So I'm scrapping this idea because this is still the superior system because it doesn't require power and it's a pretty good clip. Anyway, reactor. The reason I've been talking so much is because I've been waiting for this to f do a bunch because I need a bu I need some steel in addition to the. Graphite and yellow right, which I don't have to have a ton of. Sorry, Gilborium. I think I have a decent amount of the dust. Hold on. No. I don't know what I did with it. I actually probably put it. Yeah, I put it in there already. Okay. Good, good. So I don't exactly remember what the ideal shape of this is for maximum stuff. Let me just torch this up a little bit. I was taught how to make a good one on a server a while back by a guy teaching me to do the one with the turbine. But I think that the the shape I'm doing, if it's if it still performs the same, it should provide like I don't know, twenty something RF thousand RF per tick. I think it was maybe. The details escape me. Anyway, so what I'm going to want to do is first I'm going to want to make some of these. Yellowium fuel rods. I want to make. I want to make at least one layer. 
before I go off camera and finish it because I want to at least show the basic framework I'm doing. Now we need to five. Okay, so that should suffice. No, I didn't want to do the steel, I wanted to do the graphite. The graphite's easy to get, you just smelt coal. Or charcoal, that's literally all you need to do. Or coal, or graphite dust. I guess that might come up. I don't even know why this works. Two gravel and a coal, but whatever. If you have a bunch of gravel, that's cheaper than smelting it. Okay. So I'm going to need a bunch of these. And that took maybe all of the steel I had, but that's fine. That's probably a good amount to get me started. Okay. You gotta be careful with the roads. There's a reason I have a second layer of things. is because I kind of kept flying off the edge. So, because when you're going really fast, and like, if you forget and like, try to do, save time by jumping over one of these ledges, you're going to have a bad time. So how you make a big reactor is basically you just make a giant square of these things. The reactor casings with varying other parts. But it's a hollow square of these. Okay. I'm gonna need to go make a couple more. I just want to make this bottom layer. Just the bottom layer. That should be fine. Okay. So the basic shape, I learned to do this for maximum fuel efficiency, is simply that. The five. And you can add capacity by making it taller and putting more of these yellowium fuel rods on there. So how these reactors work is it, they use yellowium ingots, the thing I had in there that's in the crafting terminal. So you put, there's a, you have a, react, a reactant port or a reactor access port, I think it is, that you put the stuff in and take the waste out. And it will go, in the actual fuel thing goes, things go into these, so the more of these you have, the more fuel you can have. And the empty space you fill with varying types of coolant, like resonant ender is the second best one, but chill or gelid cryothium I think is the best one that I'm aware of. And there's just, I mean like water is the worst one, it's, there's a decent number of them. And the when if, I mean you don't want it to be super hot in here. You want to have the best coolant you can. And it will put in the amount of those you put in and the amount of sides, I guess, of these that touch coolant will make it more or less efficient and good at providing power. Okay. So let's see how this is doing. So I have... Oh, wow, it's gone through that pulverized coal like nobody's business. There were three stacks of that in there when I started this video. I mean, I know it takes two of those and one of those per, but still, jeez. Okay. So, 32. And I want to make this 5 high. Like 5... I'm not sure. I don't remember if it was 5 in total or 5 of the middle. I'm going to go with 5 of the middle. For now. See how that goes. Like 5 tall of, the, of these fuel rods. That may take me a bit, but... And I'm going to have a bank of power cells in here so that I don't have to just keep turning this on and off. I mean, ideally, I would have some way to automate it turning on or off when there reaches a certain amount of power. And I could probably do that with, like, RedNet or something, somehow. I don't know. So I, know I know virtually nothing about RedNet, but I do know that there is a, such a thing as a RedNet access port.
Okay. And if you want to be able to see inside of the reactor, which I probably wanted to make some of those. Oh, they, she changed the recipe, I think. Maybe. It may have been that always. I don't know. Oops. Two hardened or hardened lumium glass and a reactor casing that gives you one of the, the see-through reactor blocks. And there are turbines, but that is a whole different animal altogether. No, I don't need the turbine ones. But the reactor access port. Oh yeah, I forgot these need the casing. So this lets you put in and take out fuel and waste respectively. And you can set it to automatically do that, I believe. This you will really only need if you're doing a turbine and putting like water or whatever in to make steam. I thought that that would just put in the coolant like for a regular one, and I tried that one and it didn't work. If you put that in there, it's going to assume you're wanting to make steam. There's that red net port. Pretty standard, just gold surrounded by red net cables and reactor casings. I don't think computer craft is even in this pack, so there's not really much point of that. Redstone fort. That may be something I can use to automate that. Never had to actually automate it before, so I'm not really sure how to go about that. Ah, yes, and the control rods. You put that on top of every pile of every column of the fuel rods that you have. So I will need five of those. And that's how you get the power out of it, is you plug it into this block. And none of these can go on the outside edges of any of the sides. Like, they can go in the center part, but they can't go on this outer line that's kind of a corner. So that's just something to keep in mind. Right there it is. Great, I need to actually make some more of those. Let's see if we can't do any better than that. Okay, I have a lot of graphite. I mean, it's just smelting coal, so that was kind of easy to make a ton of that. Okay. I want to make two of these for symmetry. One on either side. I don't know if it makes actually any difference to pulling power out. But... Get over here, you. Okay, so I just need to plug a, one of these cables into that, and it will get power. I'm going to do the same on this side. Again, I don't know if this actually makes it more efficient. I think it, it does let you draw more power out, but... I don't think I'll ever really get to a point where that's necessary. Okay. Or, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't make... Access port. I think I need a piston. I'm so glad I upgraded this crafting terminal. I don't think I did that. I haven't mentioned it on camera yet. May have. But it's super cheap once you actually have the, the terminal to begin with. Because all it is is that terminal, a crafting table, and this calculation processor, which is just a circuit you make with the with the pure sort of... It has to be pure. It has to be the one that you get from a seed. But once you have that, then it's then that's no problem whatsoever. Because it, it grows like 1% per second or something. Okay, what was I doing? Right, big reactors. Bah. That should do. Okay, so I have the access port. Now I just need a controller. Some control rods. I'm not going to have enough for those. Let's see how many of these I can make. One! Fantastical. Oh, well, I didn't really expect to be able to make any more of those. I mean, I know that people on the JD Cat forums have been using a, a red, like a farm over there of the redstone plants and the redstone generators as a viable primary fuel source, but that just isn't really my style. Okay. I'm probably going to have it 
automatically import and export if I can. So, so you can have it eject fuel and waste. At, like if you if you want to take all the fuel out, like if you're moving everything, you pr you you press that and it pops up there. If you put it in there normally, it will put it in. Let me see here. Okay, so you can have it. Okay, I'm gonna need two of these then if I want to completely automate this. So I c it could only automatically import and export one at a time. I make five of those. I'm, you need you need those a lot. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the other side for symmetry purposes. It's aesthetically pleasing. And this goes in the middle. Oh god, what? Oh. Because I can't actually interact with that menu until the thing is done. And these are, this, these conduits are just going to transfer power throughout whatever structure things I build in the future. That's why I have the... I'm going to put my facade these so it looks like, kind of like a tunnel. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. As usual. But it's also going to provide some power to the this stuff. I mean, you only really need the hardened ones right now, at least. If I need that to change, if I need to put the those, if like it's sucking up a ton of power once I fully upgrade all of the sieves and hammers and such, then I will replace those. But for now, this is fine. Something I also forgot to mention was I ran out of sides to do things with when I was doing these because I needed one side to put the items in, the casting frames in, aside to pull them out, the, or pull the blocks out once they're done, and decide to put the fluids in. So, I mean, I could have done this a lot more intricately, where like I had a space in between them with a thing in them, but what I did, which I like better, was I used this, a fluctuating item duct. What it does is it's basically an item duct that transfers RF. Simple as that. And I mean, it, it, it's a decent amount of RF, too. Like, I think it's 2,000 per connection or something, so it's... I mean, it's pretty good. Alright, I want to see how it compares. Okay. Hmm. How much does this transfer? Yeah, it's 2,000 RF per tick, which is... even better. It's, not, it's only a fourth of this, as good as you can get with the redstone energy ones, but it's like two and a half times as good as the hardened, which I didn't realize. Which is what I have going all the way up there and around and such. This thing looks different every time I look over at it. Like it was all green except two reds a minute ago. Okay. And just for reference, I'm going to go over here and show the nether portal. I'll just check that. Okay. So it's just a, it's just this. Is, all that's in here literally is just the portal. It's bar it barely fits in there. But I have it back there just because it kind of fits with the theme. Past this line, like going this direction, everything is exactly the same. Basically, I may have added like a layer to a wall over there, but and over here, but and added a trap door so I don't keep falling into this hole where the this is. Not sure how that happened. But other than that, it's fine and the same. I don't think these slabs actually function as speeding you up. I could be wrong. So I'm going to try and finish this off camera. I've done most of the, the groundwork. It's just making more of everything. And then just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to destroy this when I'm done. Say this is the top layer, like, not, it's not going to be this layer and then a roof layer. This is the roof layer. I put that there. So this is the top layer, like, I, if I was doing it like this. And I've never actually adjusted these. I don't know exactly what they do. But it's probably exactly whatever that is. Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. 
I'll have to fiddle with that maybe. But I don't, I don't have those yet, and this this isn't as tall as I want to make them. So I'm going to not do that. But again, I'm going to look into automating this off camera, and I'm also going to finish it off camera. But I'll wait to put the last block in until I'm on camera just for the dramatic purposes of things. But I think for now I'm going to end this here. I kind of covered everything I wanted to, and it's probably been a while. I don't remember exactly how long this has taken. And something else to note before I forget. I don't I, I don't know if this was just this acting weird or a bug or I just had things hooked up wrong or something, but I had it going off. It went straight from there into there, into the fluctuating item deck, then it went out of that upstairs. And no power was going upstairs. I don't know if that was something I had hooked up wrong or something. I don't know. Man, I love these brains. I'm so glad I saw someone make a comment about these on the other guy's Let's Play, that first guy who did one on Agrarian Skies for him. Thank you, whoever that was. And also, before I forget, these are appetite blocks. I thought that seemed kind of fitting for the farm building. So, I'm going to end this here and finish up the reactor off camera. Hopefully, at some point, the... the Thermal casting will get fixed if it's, I mean, if it's even bugged. I'm just assuming it is because there's no remote point to it if it's supposed to be like it is. And I'm not sure how I would, I mean, the reason I upgraded this was because it was starting to produce things too quickly for my smeltery to do it, to pull it out and put in a casting basin because there is that little cool down period in between when it's putting something into the casting basin and when it's hardening into a block. So everything was starting to alloy, and it was just all around a bad time. I was trying to remember. What, I was trying to think of what this could be making cobblestone for. I forgot. I also have that going downstairs into the. Well, I have this going downstairs. You can see clearly the border into the crucibles. So again, I'm going to end this here, and I will see you all next time. And, Till, and until next time, this has been Conquest. Farewell.